So I graduated from Oxford in 2002, and then after that I moved to Tuscaloosa to attend the University of Alabama. I ended up attending there for about two years. I was kind of in between not really know what I wanted to do after I finished school. And so then I started working at a uh, outdoor store there and I fell in love with what I did there and actually ended up just concentrating more on work. So I ended up working there for 18 years. And then they got to the point that I was looking for more of a career than a job. And so after that, I uh, moved back here to Oxford and I, uh, my little brother was actually attending some classes here. And he told me to uh, come up here and talk to Mr. Robertson and uh, see if he can give me some advice. So I come up here and talk to Mr. Robertson and he uh, led me to the FAME program. And the thing I like about the FAME program is the way it was structured. So basically we would go to school two days a week and then work three days a week. Doing that way, I wouldn't have to worry about trying to work around school or have school around work, you know, picking and choosing classes. Everything was structured, set up for me. I mean, I was nervous about coming back to school during the whole thing. You know, I've thought about being out of school for almost 20 years and uh, but once I realized you know the aspects of it, how it would help me further my career and further my education it was a no-brainer for me to show up. So once I was accepted into the draft uh, I knew that we would have a uh, so-called draft process when we would meet with all the industrial partners but because of COVID all of ours were done virtually through Zoom so that morning when we uh, had our call it was kind of nerve-wracking to start with just because you know you want to try and look at everybody in the eyes but basically you're just having to look at a monitor the whole time and so once the interview or the draft process was over and I got through my interviews it was another two to three day wait stretch to find out, hey, who did I get accepted first of all? And once I finally got my call that from Miss Judy at MH Valve, it was a huge weight off my shoulders. So at MH Valve, uh, I work in the maintenance department there, and what we do is we do a little bit of everything mechanical, uh, electrical, and fabrication. So the thing I like about it is it's not the same thing every day, it's always something different. You know, with breakdowns of fabrication or installing new machines, taking old machines out, it's just always something different. Now, the first week or two, just trying to learn the ropes and everything, you know, having them teach us, figuring out what our role was going to be. But after, I'd say about the second week, when we started working hand in hand together, they become very accepting. You know, we got to the point that we would go out on job and if something we've done before, they would give us the tools, let us do it, with them watching over our shoulders just so we didn't make any mistakes. So upon getting accepted into the FAME program, I come up here to talk to me and see, and she actually mentioned something about WIOA which WIOA is through the state and they actually offer to pay for all of my schooling, all of my books, any supplies, materials, or anything I need. So I literally have zero money coming out of pocket. Being able to work and do all this helped me a ton because I could actually pay my bills on time, have you know food and all that on the table and not really have to worry about that side of it. And then going to school here, everything was set up for us. So it's more structure. So once we've completed the FAME program, you know, it's a huge honor and advantage for us to get hired into the company where we work at because we already have almost two years of experience. So that gives us a jump ahead of anybody who is just new coming into there. We already know the ropes, the machines, and how everything operates in the day-to-day -day process. 